All right, this video is going to be kind of a flip one for one step and two step equations. So here we go. So equations one and two steps. We're going to start with one step equations first. Some of the steps that you need to worry about are you need to read it. Second step, you need to find what is attached to the variable. It's probably going to be attached by addition and subtraction. Three, how is the coefficient attached? What's that operation? Again, it's probably going to be addition and subtraction. Four, do the opposite operations to both sides. And five, goal. This is where we get our variable all by itself. Our last step, which is optional, is just to check it. So those are things that you can think about when you do one steps. For two steps, Steps might be similar. We're going to read it. We're going to do the opposite of the operation of a positive and negative. We're then going to do the opposite of, of multiplication and division. Steps two and three must be done to both sides. Our goal is going to be our getting our variable by itself. And step five is we want to check it. And again, that's optional. So some keys for this as you go through. Remember your signs with, or rules with your signs. Know where, what is attached to the variable. And remember to complete the operation to both sides. So let's try some. So if we look at just some of the example helpful tips here, here's our equation. We want to look at what's attached. So the numbers are attached to the letter. These are the ones that we're going to move. You're going to move them to the other side. And you do this by the opposite operation. So in this case, we have a two-step equation. You're going to do the first step of getting rid of the 4, which is going to be by the opposite of a positive. So it's going to be negative. Our second step is going to be get rid of the 3, which is attached by multiplication, which we're going to divide to both sides. So some sample equations. So some examples that you're going to want to go through as we go through this. So our one step equation, we're going to get rid of the 4, both sides equals 5. If we check it, it checks out. So if it checks out, you actually did your work right and you got the answer right. So what I'm going to be looking for is the work in this problem. That's the most important. So our second one, again we're getting rid of the 2 by doing the opposite operation to both sides. When we do that, we get our answer. We want to make sure that it works. It checks. So there you go, it works out. Change it over to a little bit different. We're going to work on the multiplication process. Opposite here would be division. So we're gonna divide by two, gets our answer. If we check it, comes out to be right. If we look at what looks like a division, we can also make it look like a multiplication problem with a fraction. To show both of those, I'm showing my work. Here we're basically multiplying by the reciprocal to get our answer. So a little information on that. When you have a fraction attached to the letter, you multiply by the reciprocal to both sides. That way it'll take care of any of the fractions in it. If we check it, it still works out. So a couple more. If we deal with a fraction attached to a letter, again we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. We can set 16 over 1. We want to reduce 
on the right hand side, everything on the left hand side goes to 1, which is what we want because we want our variable by itself. We multiply what's left. So if we have one steps with fractions in a different sense, we're looking at it this way. Here we're going to add our two thirds. One of the things you'll notice is I forgot my addition sign on there. I'll be looking for that, so please make sure you put it in there. So when we get that done, we have to find common denominators. Our common denominator here is going to be 6. Solving that, we get 4, 6. Now we can add it to there. Some keys to one-step equations. One is determine the number attached to the variable. Determine how it's attached. Do the opposite operation of both sides of the equal sign to keep it equal. And then finally check it out. If you do that, you get 100%. So if we look at two-step equations, these are some that we'll be working with as well. Now we're just doing two steps to the process. So here's our equation. We're going to add 3 to both sides because that's how it's attached. Get rid of the 3 on the left hand side. Whatever's left we bring down. Combine our right hand side. Now we get rid of the 4 that's attached to the x on both sides so we divide. Reduce on the right hand side. That gives us our answer of 4. If we check it, put our number in. Again use parentheses for letters. It works out. Another example, we're going to get rid of the 5 first by taking it by a negative. We're going to do that to both sides. Simplify the right side, bring down what's left on the left hand side. And we're going to simplify the one step equation. So we divide by 2, simplifies it down to x equals 5. Again if we check it, this is what it looks like. So we would have a correct answer. One with a fraction. So again, we're going to get rid of what's attached addition or subtraction wise. We're going to do that to both sides. Simplify the right side. Bring down what's left on the left hand side. Now we've got a fraction attached to a letter, so we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. Again to both sides. Reduce the left side, reduce the right side. Checks out. Put it back in. If they equal, You've done your job, everything's right. So if we throw some parentheses at you, maybe a distributive property. So we're going to distribute the 4 throughout the parentheses, get rid of our parentheses, and then we just start the process of simplifying the equation. So we're going to add 12 to both sides, reduce the left side, bring down what's left, Combine the right hand side. We're going to get rid of the 4 by multiplying, or excuse me, division. We're going to divide each side by 4, reduce it down. Our last thing is we're going to check it. The last thing is some keys to all of this, especially two steps. Do the opposite operation of addition and subtraction to both sides first. Opposite operation of addition or multiplication division second. That will get you your goal of x equals whatever you're looking for. Check it. And the last thing is if you have a fraction on a letter, you need to multiply by the reciprocal to both sides. One additional thing that I'm probably going to throw at you on this is. Uh, telling me what property of equalities that you're using so we can bring that process in and get that worked with it. So show your work, good luck, use your notes.